Hello everyone, my name is Paul Richards and in this video we're talking about how to live stream a corporate event or a large event. Uh, we've got some tips for you on how to do that, so let's get started. So here I am in my virtual set here and we're going to talk about tips for live streaming. So this is, we're not making a marketing video, we're not just doing some, live streaming a concert, we're live streaming a corporate event. And there's some different challenges for each uh, type of different event. So uh, we're going to talk about those in this video. So a lot of times, large corporate events, um, you know, you, you, you need to be able to capture audio from at least one presenter, maybe a microphone that's being passed around for questions. And you need to be able to capture at least one, maybe two video feeds, so a video of the presenter and maybe a video of the crowd. Uh, so we're going to talk about how to do that. But the most basic thing that you want to make sure and talk about before the live event is how are you going to secure a good internet connection? Because we're talking about live streaming here. Now, if you're live streaming, you might want to also consider a local recording. So if something happens, there's a blip in the network or something like that, you still have a hard-coded recording on your PC to do that. Now, if you're going to be recording to your PC, make sure you have enough space on your PC to allow you to um, record you know, gigabytes and gigabytes of files. Uh, you might want to use a calculator online to say, okay, it's going to be a two-hour event. I'm doing 1080p 30. How much storage do I need on my laptop to do that? So think about that as well. Um, if there's an audio guy, make friends with the audio guy. You're going to need to tap into his system. So um, if you are the audio guy, great, you know what you're doing. Um, you have a wireless microphone on your presenter, a wireless microphone that's being hand handed out. Take that mixed feed or that audio feed, that high quality audio, and figure out a way that you can take it and maybe convert it to USB if you're using your laptop. Um, or take, if you're using like more of a dedicated appliance like this vMix Go or TriCaster, use the inputs there. Just make sure you have that conversation about getting the audio into your system uh, professionally. Also, um, I, we mentioned this a little bit, choosing the right camera. Uh, you could just use a webcam to get a 1080p wide shot right in front of you, right, of the, of the audience. Um, but it's most likely that you want to use one, two, or maybe three cameras um, to capture, to really create a, uh, an awesome experience. So um, two cameras, you can fade in between them. So you can zoom into one person who's a presenter, uh, have the other camera for panning the room and getting different different shots and you can have presets so you can have a wide angle of the stage a podium uh, the banner different spaces that you, you want to capture and then fade between the two different sets um, when you're doing a live stream like this you want to now this is using vmix but it could be wirecast or any other software you want to use your preview and your output monitor to its best ability. So you want to be previewing what, you, what you're uh, about to go live with and make sure it's perfect before you send it over to the live screen. Uh, also, branding is very important. If you're doing a corporate event, see if you can brand it. Um, doing lower thirds, um, such as this here, um, to brand the event is a, is a good idea. Uh, so hopefully those are some good tips for you guys on live streaming a corporate event. Um, those should be the basics. Of course, practice makes perfect. Anything you're going to do, test it. Make sure it works. Make sure you're comfortable with the technology that you're using. Uh, subscribe to our YouTube channel if you felt like this was helpful. We've got a whole bunch of uh, cool tutorials and tips and tricks. We do live streams every Friday, and then we have free virtual sets below. Thanks, everybody.